Hello everyone. Welcome to our first installment of Pouring from Coast to Coast. I am so excited and so grateful to be a part of this collaboration. Now we are going to be doing this on a bi-weekly basis. So every other Friday at 3 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Eastern, the five of us, uh, Garrick, Meta, Chris, Tara, and myself will be doing uh, a crazy little collaboration, showing you some color, some technique, some composition, and just having a good time. So we're so excited to be here. I hope you're excited to be here. We're glad you're here. Thank you so much for joining us. So it's been a minute since I have been able to play with some metallics. You guys know I love my metallics. So I just wanted to uh, try some different colors this time than my usual. I'm not using the 24K Gold. I'm using Arteza Gold this time. I'm using a PBO Copper, as well as Fire Opal, which is a Bling It product from Color Art. And I made that cool custom color using Deco Art Rich Espresso with some 24K Gold. I guess I lied, I did use 24K Gold. Yikes, don't hold it against me, please. Um, but I did mix a few drops of the new Vivid Intense Dioxazine Violet into it and made this beautiful, beautiful metallic purple. So I've never used this color before. I'm gonna see how it does. Now, usually I've been playing a lot with a split cup. I got these great split cups from Tracy Reed and just been going to town on them. I don't know why I decided to just layer a cup on this. Um, I think I'm gonna try it again with these colors in a split cup. But for today, we're just gonna layer a cup and pour it out. So let's see what happens.
Now, I will be honest, I generally use a little more paint than I have to on my pores. And if you know me at all, you've watched any of my, my past videos, you know I love to tilt. I'm a tilter, can't help it. It's just something that I gravitate towards. That is the most fun part of the pour for me. And so in order to make sure I am able to find a part of the composition that I like, um, I use extra paint. That way there's plenty to tilt off uh, if there's a part that I don't like. And uh, it just gives me a little extra cushion, I guess, to make sure I'm able to keep what I like and get rid of what I don't. Now, not everybody uses extra paint like this, um, but you're gonna notice here, there's that part on the right. I'm not really fond of it. Um, so I decide to come back down here to the bottom corner left and uh, let that go over the edge. And then I wanna stretch out that custom purple because I'm really liking that color. So take it over to the edge on the left and then I'll go back and tilt off a bunch of that on the right and still have plenty of paint left for my composition. This is another one of the fun parts that I love about pouring is going back and looking at how those lines opened up to show the color behind color and it shows a lot of depth. You can see that copper peeking through there. Um, this is why I like to tilt and push it to the edge because you get some amazing effects uh, with your lines and with your colors. And here are our dried results. I really like this subdued shade of green that I got from the gold mixing with the black. It is such a pretty shade. It's not that ugly green that you sometimes get. But what I really love is this custom color I did, that Deco Art Rich Espresso with some 24K and a few drops of Vivid Intense Dioxazine Violet. It made a gorgeous shade of purple. Really do love this piece. I love metallics anyway, you know that. Be sure and stay tuned for the wonderfully talented and pretty darn funny Chris Jezik. She's up next. I'm heading over there now. <laughs> 